Hello guys, welcome to the channel tutorials. This is Zakir, and today I'm going to introduce if else else if condition statement. In the previous videos, you have seen that we had just two options, whether true or false. What if you have more than one condition, more than one option? So for that thing, you will use if else and else if statement. So this is the structure. If the condition, the first condition, if the condition is true, it will execute the state, the first statement. And this is the basic structure of if else. The second is, which is new one, the else if. If you have another condition, a second one, so you just write else if, second condition, enclosed in brackets, then the curly brackets and the second statement. So if the second condition is true, it will execute the second, the second statement. If the third condition is true, the same thing, else if, it will execute the third statement. Okay, now the fourth one is the else. It is the default one. If none of the condition is true, or none of the condition is satisfied, it will just execute the fourth statement, and it's kind of default. Like, whatever wrong value you enter, you will get a default statement, this fourth one. Let's see how it works in the program. So I'm going to start my program with a main function. OK. So in this video tutorial, I'm going to give a password. You have password, and you have more than one users. So the first password is for the user account, and the other is one for the other one is for guest account. So let's see if you enter one password, you will the computer will give you the user account. If you enter the second password, the computer will give you the guest account. So we have integer and let's call it password. Okay, we have defined a variable. Now we are gonna print some text on the screen. Enter your password. Now we are going to get the value from the user, which is the scanner function. The type of the password is integer, so we are using person D. And we are going to store this value in the variable password. Okay. So we, the user, enter the password we store the password in this variable next we are going to write our code if the password is one two three four five so the user will get a statement welcome to your guest account else if the password is equal to if the user if the user enter another password which is for example 3456 so he will well well i am as you know i'm lazy so I'm not going to write that. Let's copy paste. Welcome to your user account. Okay. So we gave a condition. Now the third condition is if none of the password is right, then what will be the output? That comes in the else form. Or let's write it. Print F. wrong password okay right i'm going to return it with a return zero return zero let me make this thing okay so this is our whole program we got a password from the user 
we stored it in the password variable. If the password is one, two, three, four, five, the user will get this output. If the password is three, four, five, six, the user will get this output. If none of the if the if the user enter another password other than these two, he will get the wrong password uh, text on the screen. Let's execute it. Okay, no errors. So I'm going to write my password, which is one, two, three, four, five. And it says, welcome to your guest account. What if I write, what is the other one? <laughs> three, four, five, six. Yeah, welcome to your user account. Okay, what if I write a wrong password? Any number? It will say wrong password. For additional examples, you can refer to my second playlist. You can also go to my channel and browse the channel and see the link, the playlist there, or you can just click the link below the video. Thank you so much for watching and do subscribe to our channel.